that we know that you can't study human beings in terms of creating predictive mechanisms. This is always been my objection to things like a lot of sociology, which is it tries to adopt a causal model. If I can find these levers and pull these levers, it will produce that effect. Now, I knew that didn't work before we even got into the science of it. And the assumption is if you just give people all the right information and tell them how bad things are, so somehow or other, they will suddenly change their mindset. Yeah, and magically the world will work. If I can find these levers and pull these levers, it will produce that effect. I don't like the sort of dialogic methods because they heavily rely on a facilitator and they're not naturalistic in the sense of being part of a natural process of dialogue. If I can find these levers and pull these levers, it will produce that effect because they heavily rely on a facilitator. You're trying to break from dichotomies into dialectics always, right? But you're trying to make that something which is a distributed function of people's day-to-day -day work, not something which requires workshops facilitation, which is nearly always imposed by somebody from an external culture. It's privileging the people who match your expectations. If I can find these levers and pull these levers, it will produce that effect. And that enlightenment model of the rational decision maker, if only you give them the right information, Oh, and by the way, if they don't pay attention to it, you hit them with it harder and harder and make it worse and worse. That just isn't the way that human beings evolve to make decisions. If I can find these levers and pull these levers, it will produce that effect.